Hello friends, how are you doing? Trust you are doing good. I am doing great. And today I want to show you what I have on my screen. How to save a carousel document in Photoshop. So let's get into it. First of all, what we need to do is we need to ensure that our file, our file is in the right order, in the right shape. Like how we want it to be by the time we export it, right? So now, after selecting your rectangle tool, come to the come to your camera then click on this area once you click on the area you will see this box if you bring this box then you put 1 200 that's the size i use square size 1 200 by 1 200 then click ok after clicking ok can you see this box that we have okay okay so now i want to align it ensure you align it to the right or to the to the left i'm aligning it to the left now so as you can see the box it has covered half of my page and what this really means now is that i have all this whole dimension the camera that i have open right now it is it is divided into two it is two of these boxes right and you see what just happened now so let me close one so now we need to bring out our ruler right and if you don't have your ruler on your screen you can bring it out by clicking command or control r on your keyboard and it will bring this area out for you this red number is like this so just come to this area click on this click and hold then drag it will bring out the ruler for you once it brings out the ruler place the ruler on the edge of the box that you have created do you get create you bring the ruler directly on this box the edge of the box okay then delete the box that's good this is good nice okay so now how do we now export it that's what we are that's what i'm going to show you now look at this there's a slice tool here you can right click on it your own may be on crop by the time you click on it so just look for it slice tool click on it then you now come up here slices from guides click on it immediately you click on slices from the guides it will slice your camera into two which signifies how it is going to export it right so you can now come here come to file then click on export once you click on once you place your cursor on export it's going to give you more option then click on save for web once you click on save for web it is going to open this up for you once it opens this box for you all you need to do is click on save then it will request where you want it to save to can you see my own document i already have my document here where i want it to save to okay yeah so just click on select where you want it to save to then click on save it will automatically save it to the place then go and search for that folder on your laptop i hope you have learned something from this video if you have go ahead and give us that subscription subscribe to this channel like this share it with your friends that you think would need it then give us a comment we would like to know how this video has helped you thank you so much and bye for now take care of yourself